Aloha and welcome to season three, episode 112 of the Awakened Woman Self Care Podcast. And I'm Christine Pensa. Um, going on, if you listen to the last episode, um, 111, um, taking the baton uh, from Emma. Um, and I doing this together for 111 episodes and carrying on um, through this exploration of sacred self-care with you. And I am excited and delighted to be here. bit weird to be here uh, alone. Um, uh, a little exciting, a little scary. And so I wanted to start by just talking a little bit about uh, what's going on this week, which is a lot, and um, how I think that um, in this moment, our sacred self-care is even more relevant and powerful than ever. And what I talked about in the last episode with Emma was how I had seen this beautiful um, metaphor of the wayfinders. I think I called them the way showers, but let's, we could use those terms um, both terms, I think. Um, and the wayfinders were these um, early peoples that would travel thousands of miles in these um, essentially what were very large, <laughs> I see them as very large canoes, <laughs> in a sense. And they would travel these distances completely reliant on their own internal navigation system. So they would, of course, use the stars, they would use, um, you know, but, and, and, you know, as a landmark in a sense, but they would also be in such stillness with the sound of the water and the ocean, so they would know, oh, that's the sound of the wave coming off against um, that particular body of land. That is indicating that I'm on track or off track. And so as we're doing this, as we're coming back into this deep, knowing of ourselves, of being our own way shores. I think we can see from how everything is in chaos and falling apart, how important it is to come back in to this beautiful way of knowing um, through uh, this, this beautiful vessel that we are navigating through waters on this earth, um, and you can call that, you know, whatever resonates. This is part of also this um, work is that we uh, are pioneering the ways that work best for us. We are finding our feet again in this new world. And, you know, it doesn't... From my perspective, um, you know, there's a lot of terms that we're in this ascension process, um, that we're stepping onto new earth, that it's 5D and beyond. And it doesn't really, in a sense, matter what you call it, whatever resonates with you, whatever is lighting you up, is opening your heart, 
That's what you call it. That's what you are stepping into. But it's stepping away from all of the places and patterns that we have, that have really been detrimental to us. And what we're calling in is this higher order perspective, this perspective that comes from ourselves as being sovereign, as being free, lifting off the veils of illusion and creating, co-creating um, something new, but from this really safe place of yourself and your own knowing. And in order to do that, we've got to release a lot of stuff. And so one of the things that we're releasing is a lot of the old ways of doing things. Um, a lot of the, you know, even for me, a lot of, um, I have, for those that know, I've, I've worked a lot with um, shamanic practice and I'm even releasing a lot of that. Um, we're just releasing so many things that have all been such beautiful teachers for us um, and have helped us with our way showing um, and wayfinding. But right now, what we're doing is coming in to ourselves. And that doesn't mean we're throwing um, necessarily all of that out. It just means that we don't rely on it um, as much anymore. We bring it in for joy. <laughs> and so um, I wanted just to have this introduction. And I know that this idea of the new and releasing a lot of the old ways of doing things is going to resonate very much with some of you and not so much with others. And that's absolutely in perfect order. So wherever you are on this spectrum, just know that I love you and I wish you a safe journey as you navigate through this, as we all find our feet again, so that we can co-create from this space of highest perspective, deep love, new navigation, pioneer, space of, um, as I said, joyful and, and scary at the same time. Um, and so here we go, challenging ourselves to navigate from some of the stars and markers that are no longer where they once were. And so coming back into that deeper knowing of ourself. And so that's what this space is going to be, is um, I'm really inviting in those of you who want to have this discussion with me and want to open up to how we deepen our sacred self-care and our deep, true self-love in this space. And I want it to be a space of non-judgment, of witnessing and sharing the highest order perspectives, even as those are shifting and changing underneath us. And also a come as you are space. And so just showing up exactly how and what we're feeling and honoring that so that we can release and move through what we need to and come back in to ourselves as these divine navigators in these times. Um, and so I wanted to end, I'm going to end with um, just a short uh, meditation. I, I wrote this. Uh, one of the things that's happening for me is I am um, channeling a lot of these beautiful poems coming through that have a lot of layers, and I usually um, have some art come in with it. Um, and this one in particular I want to sh I share today uh, with you is called uh, Symphony of Pleasure. And so I'm going to pause here and um, it will be, I'm going to read it as though 
It's a meditation because I think it is. And so I invite you to open to that if it feels resonant. So let's begin by just taking a breath in and if it's safe to do so, closing your eyes gently. And dropping in to the heart, out of the head, into the heart. And this is a call to yourself to call in a symphony of pleasure. So breathe in, opening your heart. I claim for this day a symphony of pleasure. I claim it in and for this body temple. Breathe and open to that. Every note meant to be sounded today an opportunity to deepen into the music of me. Awaken, I command. Come forward, ring the purity of the note through this expression. Connect back to the original rhythm. Release the dis, tuning this beloved vessel back into its music of ease. Open, I command, to the pure sound waves as they flow through me. Expand, I laugh, as the song lines of this embodied expressions The tributaries of my meridian spill over their banks, saturating the arid banks with remembered fertility. My heart, I call you, who keeps fiery beat with my original notes. Let us play them together now to explode through all atonal limitation. Listen, I whisper as my consciousness tilts an ear, as she begins to faintly hear creator song rising up again, source beat. Open, I command once more, crack open the dams that have kept symphony of pleasure from flowing through me. My body beginning to entrain once again to her natural pure rhythm, the symphony of delight, source beat. I claim the wonder of each note. I unfurl as the symphony of truth, a divine fractal of source beat, source song, complete, flowing through, dissolving the veils of illusion. Now I am embodied in every cell, membrane, tissue, sinew, muscle, blood and bone in this tiny temple of me, moving, spinning, flowering outward as an infinite symphony of pure light. So breathe that into your whole body and being, this moving, spinning, flowering outward as your infinite symphony of pure light. So it is. I love you and I look forward to this journey that we will take together. Please reach out with any suggestions for what you would love to hear and see, well, I guess (laughs) here on the podcast. I love you. I thank you. I look forward to our symphony of pleasure unfolding together. 